Choke no joke. You are a joke. Or is it joke no choke or choke no joke? Whatever your name is, but leave Jay-Z alone. You're a thirsty Tatiana. Relentlessly for years, damn near a decade, you've been crying about Jay-Z. Jay-Z this, Jay-Z that. Your whole channel was based on you criticizing Jay-Z and criticizing people who are around Jay-Z. Y'all know what he just did? He just, and I seen a lot of dislikes and he blocked the comment sections. Choke no joke, whatever his name is. You are choking on something and it ain't a joke. Oh, you choking on something, all right. And we know what part of Jay-Z you choking on. Pause. Do you spit or swallow? Educational purpose. This man went attacking Jay-Z for all these years to now telling us he's joining Jay-Z again. He's working with Jay-Z again on a new project. Then he did a whole live trying to come at people and explaining why he's with Jay-Z again. As if we didn't look at him and know of his existence just based on getting angry with Jay-Z and destroying Jay-Z's name, dragging it through the mud for years now. Bro, you a fake dude, my nigga. You're like all these other bloggers I call out. You're not to be taken serious and you never was. We do know you're a legend rat as well. I'm talking about a rat that goes in your house creep out. I, I ain't talking about what y'all think because he's gonna get mad and flagged. But we know when, um, I forgot my bro's name who came out and show the real paperwork and documents and people still allow you to talk. You told on somebody and try to act like you had nothing to do with it. I don't know how that got erased by the masses. You told on somebody. And even if people wanna pretend you didn't tell on anybody, you built up a platform and went on a, 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 a expedition, my nigga. Every video was how Jay-Z did another black man wrong. Jay-Z brought another black man down. Jay-Z is working with snitches and rats. So wouldn't that mean you working with a man who works with snitches and rats? You make excuses like crazy, my nigga. We all know why you're working with Jay-Z again, because you said it yourself. They've been trying to get you on projects for years now, and you've been declining it. You're a spoiled brat, my nigga. You're a child that Jay-Z raised up, and you don't like what daddy did. Jay-Z is your daddy, not father and your daddy. Yeah, the zesty way, he's your daddy. He paid you some good dollar bills, y'all. And look at you how you behaving now, a thirsty thought. You are a thirsty thought. Everything about you been a thirsty thought. Everything about you been a dis disgruntled IG model. Daddy ain't paying attention to you no more. So now you gotta go against the world and destroy somebody name, right? In vain too at that, my nigga, in vain too. Every video was, how he took advantage of you, he stole money from you, he didn't allow this, he blackballed you from society and the industry. You said this. Every one of his moves was how he, he took advantage of your new projects you were getting ready to do, he did a phone call. You went, at, I don't even like Charlemagne the God, educational purpose, most of y'all know why, because of the Jessica story, I, I still stand on that. But to see the way you came at Charlemagne the God, I always said it was just because Charlemagne is cool with Jay-Z and he don't care about your struggle story. I never cared about your struggle story. Jay-Z doesn't speak about you or talk about you. And if he is blackballing you, he did it the way a boss should. Behind the goddamn scene. Niggas ain't trying to see you every day, my nigga. You want to be seen because you a thirsty Th Tatiana want to be seen as, nigga. Every video, you crying about something. What are you crying about now, my nigga? And then you trying to justify it as if we the ones who's wilding. You got mad at the people bringing cool, key, hard questions at you, meaning that why are you going to Jay-Z now after all, everything you just said about Jay-Z and you started getting angry with people. I seen you, bro. I seen you. It was like looking at him. I looked at it for five minutes and I clicked the fuck off. It's like, look at this nigga. He can't even look at the camera the way I'm doing now. This nigga is transparent. We can see right through you. You're transparent, bro. We can see right through all the fakeness that you bring out every day. Bro, right now your channel should be deleted if you're working with Jay-Z again. 98% of your content is anger and videos all about Jay-Z or people who have worked with Jay-Z or people that Jay-Z have talked about. Big facts. Y'all go to his videos and tell me if I'm lying. So is it fair now that you're not against Jay-Z anymore and you're on your knees literally and figuratively doing pro proceeding to do you know what the head bobble. I ain't gonna get into that. 
So now can we be fair and say this man must take down all the videos? Is it? It just look weird, bro. It's the most contradiction. I, bro, if contradiction was a real life person, it would be that clown choke no joke. To see this nigga up on here, bro, and he's just doing his thing, talking all this fakeness, I can't take this nigga serious, bro, or nobody who follows him. This my point when I'm telling you about clowns like him. Jay-Z give you jay -Z is y'all zaddy, bro. Jay-Z look at y'all one way, and y'all zaddy look at y'all, and, and y'all melt. Like it's a romance movie, bro. This all was a romance movie choke. You like, you worse than baby mamas, bro. I know multiple baby mamas, especially in my hand, that are more thorough and more ready for this movement than you, King. Why were you here? Can I be fair and say something deeper? Now that you, you ran back to Jay-Z for the almighty dollar, is it fair to say that we have a right not to take nothing you say serious anymore? I'm just saying, now anytime, look, I'm all for grown men making a peace with each other but based on what that man said jay-z did to him broke him down and for the countless amount of years that he attacked jay-z hell no you can't say they make peace or whatever especially when he said it's a project they're working on so it's not that him and jay-z made peace like men to leave each other alone or him stop stalking jay-z because that's what you were doing you were stalking jay-z my nigga Every fucking video was about Jay-Z. You were stalking him for damn near 10 years. You are a stalker, not a blogger. Let's get that facts out the way. You are a stalker, not a blogger. Shout out to Axe Shampoo and the Pooh and Space Show. Cause Shampoo been saying that for the longest. Salute to my king, Shampoo, man. He been calling you a stalker and people somewhat had a lot of opinions to say and I sit back, I'm like, nah, choke is the definition of a stalker. And you was trying to hurt that man money and everything. So it's not like you made peace with Jay-Z in a way where let's just go on to something else. You made peace for money. So educational purpose, you're a lady of the night. This is YouTube. I got to watch my word. You are a OnlyFans model now. You are a vixen. You are a, a lady of the night, choke. You can be bought and paid. So all this conscious shit he be telling y'all, I told y'all, it's fake. Most of these conscious people sell you garbage and fakeness. He don't know what he want to be. He's a grown man who's probably going to be in his 50s, if not in his 50s already. He's going through a midlife crisis. Usually your midlife crisis lasts for a year, a little bit more. He's been going through a 10 year midlife crisis that won't fade away or go away. And y'all keep giving him a pass. He's a danger to everybody else around him or to himself. This is why I've never reached out for an interview. I've never tried to work for him. Look at how he's growing his hair now. He seems to be destructive nature at a reaching point right now. The nigga is bitter to the point he only needs crucial conflicts to handle any resolution of anything. Look at him. Look at his modest behavior. Ain't nothing modest about that. He's arrogant to a T. Then he tried to show off about the dollar signs and the amount that Jay-Z, his zaddy, gave to him. Yeah, zaddy giving you that big drip, right? We see it already. We see you, nigga. We know the play. Oh, boy, do we know the play. We know niggas like you. We know what you do. You're well-spoken to a T when it comes to that victim talk. Victimization, we know through BLM itself. Make folks in them feel sorry for you and whoop de doo look what we got here. We got some BS, straight trash, ain't it? Ain't it beautiful to see bullshit like that? Educational purpose. I gotta fall back from this, man. I seen enough, I know what's going on, and I see it all through the bluff side. It's not through the plus side, it's through the fakeness that y'all call a guaranteed nature. A nation that shouldn't even been here, man. Look, I'm your God bless one. Thank you for watching another episode of Osmo Hip Hop Live. Do me a favor and hit that like button, hit that notification bell, and come rock out for real, for real with the most winning this team out here. All I want to see is get a victory out this hole. And the only way you can get that victory if we cement ourselves within the nature of what we are and who we are. This is crazy, bro. Another destructive day, another destructive nature. You can't be given what they said is being given to us, bro. This brother literally built his resume being a stalker and being a dude who was a victim. He was a victim for 10 years through the hands of Jay-Z. 
I mean, I guess like psychiatrists tell us, victims always go back to the person that's doing you know what to them or victimizing them. It is what it is, man. This is another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop Live. I'm your God Bless. One thing for watching another episode for real. Love your family, love your kids, and stay blessed, gang. Salute.